All right, it's out having lunch with some friends of mine. And one of them um, was about to throw something away at home, and he knew that I would like it. <laughs> so uh, he gave this to me. So I've done a video on the optical mouse optics of how an optical mouse works. It was invented at HP Labs. Uh, it became a sensor that Microsoft bought. And Microsoft made the very world's first optical mouse, but it had a... Uh, had an HP sensor in it. Um, and this is that old original sensor, okay? And this was some type of marketing demo box, I think. Um, we can open it up here. Uh, looks like this was homemade almost, this uh, case. I don't know. Uh, it looks, maybe, maybe it was purchased, but it's real thick like five millimeter thick plexiglass. It looks, it looks kind of homemade to me. So it has a, uh, has a bunch of stuff, has a protective sheet on it. I guess we can remove that so we can photograph it better. So uh, let me zoom down a bit here. So uh, the first thing to notice is down here. Oh man, everything's kind of sliding around on me, sorry. Um, down here it says HP Confidential. <laughs> so yeah, don't tell your friends. Um, so this was a demo of the manufacturing process of the optical mouse sensor. All right. And it starts out with a bunch of lead frames, these, these uh, metal frames here, the lead frames. Uh, they will end up being leads. Um, and then there's a plastic package that's molded onto that. So that's step one. Uh, there's an arrow here. So step two is die attach. So you'll take the individual um, die, the silicon die, and you'll glue it in there. And then you will wire bond it. So you'll wire bond all of the connections from the uh, leads to the uh, chip. And then because the way this particular device is used, there's actually a hole in the package to get the light out. <laughs> and so you're going to get dirt and moisture and other things in there. It's not a hermetically sealed package. So they put a conformal coating over that die because it will be exposed to the elements. So, uh, so that's done at this step. And then there's some type of inspection where they make sure everything's good before it goes to the next. Uh, the next step is they put the lid on it. So this is kind of an open package. They put one more piece of plastic to complete the package, and that one has a hole in it. That hole is covered over with a piece of Kapton tape, so dust can't get in there. So the, the, when you receive these things, if you purchase these to build mice, they would have that little uh, uh, Kapton tape covering the hole. Once you assemble it into your mouse, you need to remove that Kapton tape, otherwise it doesn't work. And then uh, it goes into a, a punch and then all of the parts are separated and then they go into a different punch or a different press and all the leads are bent into, into the regular shape you're used to. And then it goes through an electrical test and then it gets inspected again and packaged up and sent out to the distributor. And uh, it's called a desk mouse. Interesting. <laughs> I hadn't ever heard that term used inside HP before. Um, but yeah, I think everybody, there was three people, four people, one, two, three, four. Who else was at the, was at the lunch? Five. Yeah. I think all five of us had, had worked on the optical mouse program in some way or another. Um, some of them did R and D, some of them did tests, some of them did marketing. Um, yeah. So everybody had a, a, a had an exposure to this particular product. Um, yeah, let me, uh, let me rearrange things here and we'll zoom down on these things. All right, once again, these are in the lead frame uh, process. And there's a marking process also to go and put the ink, put the ink on the part. And then there's the uh, die attach process, uh, the uh, wire bond process. Conformal coating is sprayed on. They go through inspection. The lid is put on with that little capped on tape uh, covering the hole. And then they get simulated. 
and then uh, the little legs get bent up. It looks like a dip now. And uh, yeah, there you go. Desk mouse process flow, HP confidential. All right. So uh, he gave me another thing. So so both both me and him have similar problems. I think we all have the similar problem is that we're pack rats and we take home souvenirs and then we're able, never able to throw them away. Our brain won't let us throw them away. <laughs> So I had like tens of thousands of LEDs that I had no use for, but I, I couldn't throw them away. So I gave a bunch to people, you know, and I said, here, please, please take these. See, I cannot throw them away, but you can. And I don't care if you throw them away. That That's perfectly fine to me. It's just physically, I cannot throw them away. <laughs> All right, let's look at something else he gave me. So it is also a little dip and it is also an optical mouse product. Now, none of us, we're familiar with this, so we don't exactly know if this was actually ever a part. My, my guess is that if it was a part, it was after our, our time. Um, it is an Agilent uh, part. It's not an HP part. It is an Agilent part, and I'll, and I'll show you why I know that. Um, and uh, But none of us recognized the package, so it may have been something that was developed but then and then never actually sold to anybody. Um, it is it is similar. It has a uh, a hollow cavity, and there's a die in there, and that die is bonded out, and you can see the conformal coating on that. The little window that snaps on here is missing, so but we can assume that it kind of looked like the other one. But yeah, um, so he gave me that, and he didn't even know he had this. It got, was stuck on some tape, <laughs> but inside this box. Uh, was taped this. Let me zoom back out. All right, so taped inside this box was this wafer. And this is a silicon wafer, and it has a particular IC on it. I promptly broke it when I got it home, so sorry. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> anyway, I broke it. And uh, it made it easier for me to put it under the microscope, so it's good that I broke it. Um, so we'll take a look at this under the microscope. And uh, you can see that it is an Agilent part. It has Agilent markings on it. And uh, you can see that it has a array of photodiodes. Um, the way that these, I, I've explained this in the other videos, but the way these things work is they're cameras and they take pictures at a high frame rate. And it's like taking a movie and then they look at one frame and then they compare it to the next frame and they do a correlation between those two frames. And they, they watch for things to move. And if things move, they know in what directions they move and how fast they move. And that's how an optical mouse works. It's just a really, really simple camera. And then it has some uh, correlative uh, ha hardware in it to, to calculate that, that movement vector. But anyway, yeah, there you go. So I've got a whole wafer of these things. Again, I don't know if this was actually ever a product or not. Interesting. And I don't know why anyone would keep a wafer. I mean, the wafer doesn't really do much in anybody any good, unless they were saving it. Maybe somebody said, hey, if they ever start up the project again, you know, here's some wafers you can cut up and make parts with. I don't know. Anyway, it's interesting. Um, this wafer is, let me measure how big this one is. There's all sorts of different sizes. The wafers keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, with with uh, with uh, age. <laughs> Processes get big. Yes, this is a six inch process, so it's a six inch wafer. All right, there you go. A blast from the past. Uh, HP Confidential, the optical mouse in its infancy. Uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff.